Hello guys, and welcome to Phone Deals Episode 8. But, I do have to announce something that will be happening with the Phone Deal series. It's coming to an end. No, I'm kidding. Um, basically what I'm going to do, and I apologize for the barking dog in the background, it's my neighbors, it's annoying as hell. Um, as you guys, I'm sure you guys have noticed, especially in the last episode, I have not been getting as many phones, I've been getting computers, iPods, tablets, all that stuff. In fact, there are zero phones in this video. So, from now on, I will be renaming the series. So, all the previous episodes are going to be called Tech Deals, along with the episode. And now, like, every episode from this one on will be called Tech Deals. And I will also be renaming the other episodes that I have to Tech Deals. With that little chunk of information gone or that little chunk of information said, let's get into the stuff. So today, um, I got this for 10 bucks. This is an iPod mini, and my god, it is in beautiful condition. There's like maybe one dent on the top and one scrape on the bottom. Um, there are no issues with this, it works perfectly. It is loaded with music. I think there's like 800 megabytes left of songs. Look at this. It's loaded with songs. Uh, yeah, I got this from the guy I usually buy stuff from, but the rest of the stuff I have for today's episode is stuff that I actually bought from the thrift store, believe it or not. And also, he said, um, when I showed, because I showed him a picture of my iBook, and he asked me if I was into the, um, older Apple laptops that have a trackball. And I'm like, yeah, I've been trying to find one. I can't find any. He's like, I have like a, I have a few of those. I have a bunch of, a bunch of vintage Apple stuff. If you want me to bring it in, you can like dig through and pick out some stuff that you're going to want to buy. And I also brought up the Acer laptop. He had a pretty rare Acer laptop that was in the box. And he's like, yeah, I'll make sure to, I'll try to bring that too. So the next episode, you may see a couple vintage Apple computers. I'm not sure when the next episode will be. I have not been able to get to the get out to the flea market recently and i also may be going camping this weekend that means that i might go to the target that i found the 13 pro max at but i'm not sure anyway let's get into the get into the rest of these this is a powerbook g4 i got this for five bucks at the thrift store if it'll open this one it's missing this key here and then the key next to it is all screwed up um, I ripped the hard drive out of this, that's why it's missing the screws, because I didn't bother to put them back in. For another computer, that'll be up next. Um, I do have this on display occasionally, I don't exactly know what else I'm going to do with it. As you can see, the RAM door is on the floor right now, I don't really feel like putting it back on. Other than that, it's in decent shape for a PowerBook, but not much to say. It's a pretty standard PowerBook G4. There's a lot of these, these are not rare at all. Let's get into the next computer. This one. Now this, I got on the, um, I got this, I think I got it, I did not get it yesterday. I got it, I got it on Friday. There we go. Um, all of this stuff here was obtained this week. But this is an iBook G3 clamshell and it is in beautiful condition. I have it on display on my table. If you saw the video, I got this working. Um, if you saw the YouTube short, you would know that this was extremely painful to get working. Um, as you can see, everything is working. It does still work. And just to, cause I don't want to move this too much, but you can see like, it's in really nice condition. This is beautiful. Even the, I mean, it looks more blue on camera, but yeah, the rubber is in great shape. There's no cracks in the plastic or anything like that. Shit. Almost knocked over my lamp. But there are no cracks in the plastic or anything. I love this computer. Um, I'm really nostalgic for old versions of OS X, believe it or not. So I do not think I'll be downgrading this. I love the welcome video. I'm glad I got a video of that. But yeah, if you guys want to see me resetting this, then check out the video that I made. It's up right now. It's the second newest video. And if you want to hear me spiel about how this was the most painful shit I've ever done, then you can check out, well, look, the keyboard's barely yellowed, the plastic is in great shape. The one thing I will say, also, look at the handle. No cracks on the handle. The one thing I will complain about is 
that on there. So I believe this was owned by a school. In fact, it came with a disc in the drive that was some sort of kindergarten teaching DVD. So I believe this was used at a school. When I got it, it was on OS9, and I had an admin password, and I didn't have discs. So I ended up ripping the hard drive out of that power book and throwing it in here. Not after completely tearing apart my other iBook, getting the hard drive out of that for it to not work. Be a really beautiful computer. I'm glad I picked up a working one. I do have a box. I do have an iBook G3 box, as you know. But believe it or not, the other iBook I have, that's not the original box for it either. So someone grabbed an iBook, probably threw a bunch of parts together, grabbed a box that looked original, and sold it on eBay. Which is probably why the power button on that is upside down. If you watched my video unboxing it, you would see that the power button is upside down, I believe. Um, yeah, really nice iBook G3. I don't know what I'm going to be, well, I know I'm going to be keeping it. I don't know if I'm going to put it up where the other Apple products are, because right now the iMac is up there, or if I am going to be keeping it here. I kind of want to keep it here, just because I like to, you know, kind of go on and use this a little bit, like, screw around with the software, see how much I can customize. Over here, we've got, this was 25 bucks too. iMac G4, look at that. It is, I knocked over my Mac Mini. <laughs> look at the just disgusting yellowing. This is all irreversible yellowing. Well, not irreversible, I could retro it if I wanted to. Um, unfortunately, the power supply on this is dead. I did talk to a bunch of people, but still really good deal for a broken one, even broken. And I really like this computer. Um, it's the 17-inch variant. Yes, the screen stuff is a bit loose. It is on my iMac G5 as well. <clears throat> but yeah, as you can see in my Apple Collection video, there was an iBook here. But I may move the iBook back over here. I'm not exactly sure. I have, um, I have one and a half iBook G3s. Um... But I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to keep it here. This is a bit of a mess because I'm kind of reorganizing it. Um, as you can see, I moved the iPods. I moved the iPod Touch out of here and the iPhone 11 Pro is on my bedside table. But I plan on putting the iPods on this little lip of the iMac instead of the iPod Touch here. This is going to be like the iPhones. These are going to be the iPods on the Mac. And then I don't know what's going to be surrounding them. Probably like other Apple devices that are smaller or something. I do have an iPod Firewire charger. I finally got one, but that's not part of this episode. Um, anyway, I know this is a bit of a shorter episode, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will try to keep comments on. If the comments are on at the time you're trying to comment, then comment down below and tell me if you like this series or not. And if I should keep the title as Phone Deals, even though I'm probably not. I'm going to keep it as Tech Deals. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, um, subscribe, and comment if the comments are turned on when you want to comment. I will see you guys in the next one.